Hey everyone, welcome back to another Deck Tech video and today I'll be showcasing Azalea Ace in the Hole. Now, Azalea might be one of my favorite heroes in Flesh and Blood just because of how unique the hero works and how unique the, the cards are, which are arrow cards. Today I'll be showcasing my classic constructor deck that I took in the Devastation Challenge. So for equipment, I chose to run Death Dealer just because I feel Death Dealer is the better weapon in Classic Constructor, just because you have more time to set up your big turns and that Death Dealer always replaces itself. Next up, my head, Skullbone Cross Strap. The playstyle I play my deck, I like to know what's on top of my deck so I can utilize Azalea as, as much as possible because in my, my playstyle is I want to Azalea dominate an arrow such as Red and Ledger, Hamstring Shot and Remorseless cards like that to pressure my opponent. For my chest, I choose to run Findle Spring Tunic just because the one resource it generates is very impactful. It can pay for a Death Dealer or it can pay for a Arrow Attack. So that's why uh, that's why Findle Spring Tunic is in there. Next up, I play Bull's Eye Bracer just because it is a it has arcane barrier so it saves you a slot against arcane damage heroes and as well as it it puts and it's sort of like a mini death dealer puts an arrow into your arsenal so you can attack twice with an arrow in one turn because after you use death dealer so examples like sick him shot into and then into a bullseye bracer into another arrow which is pretty good and lastly, I play Snapdragon Scalers as my as my legs, just because all my attack actions cost one or less, and the ability to give a card go again is very very strong in my deck because I'm playing a aggro go wide deck. So for my main deck, I chose to run Scar for Scar, Ravenous Rebels, and the Lion Strikes. These are my generic attack actions. That is the most impactful in my deck just because the ability of go again attacking for four or five with to pressure my opponent and then leading up with another arrow especially ravenous rebel because ravenous rebel allows me to check the top of my deck and um play my turn differently with especially with azalea's effect if i see a good arrow such as remorseless or red and ledger then i I will know which line to take in that turn. Whereas, whereas if I reveal something else, then I can just play around that and set up for next turn. Um, I play, I play six pumps, take aim and nimbleism. These cards are very strong with combined with a arrow and dominate. So usually an arrow will come in for eight dominate, and then it will have some sort of effect to stun my opponent so that these are very good and they cost zero so yeah that's why i run so many of them art of war the ability to give plus one and the next section go again is very strong banish to draw two is also strong the chance to fix hands that lack resource but the main thing is the plus one and the go again because of because of how azalea works you it doesn't matter how much damage you deal. Raise the reflex, no standard card, sort of like out of words. Just to make sure your arrows get the hit so that their effects will trigger. And giving it go again is also good. I play free knock as well. Knock is mostly used for a resource card. As you can see, my whole deck is mainly reds, but having this card is good because I have resources and it has free defense and the fix sometimes comes up that I can stack a maybe Red and Ledger Remorseless on top and give it Dominate. Now for my arrows, um, my air the way I like to play is either my arrows have Dominate or I have a pump like Take Aim and Nibbleism to, to back it up and take for usually seven or eight damage with or without dominate. So my arrows is staring shot, zero cost, it's very good. It's just a zero cost for for attack arrow and does five. Second shot, just because it has go again, go wide, hit a shot, a lot of damage, six power arrow, 
Savage Shot, a recyclable arrow, Endless Arrow, a card that forces opponent to block. Uh, one of my favorite cards in this deck is Red and Ledger, Hamstring Shot, Sleep Dart, and Remorseless. Red and Ledger, I feel, is the best card in Arcane Rising, just because of how, how impactful the effect is. It's so strong, it just locks your opponent's turn. So, same with Remorseless and Sleep Dart. These effects can literally shatter heroes, so it's very important that we run as much copies of them and then we can get the hit. So the yellows, I play Salvage Shot, Headshot, Hamstring Shot, and Sleep Dart for resource and for full power. Red Red Shot, we usually don't use this effect, but we don't usually use it to attack, sorry. My sideboard is free Command and Conquer, free Take Cover, and free Fate for Scene. Um, the the f Take Cover and Fate for Scenes are for matchups which hit you big and have dominates, such as like Bravo, Reiner, Katsu, because we want to stop their hit triggers. And Command and Conquer is for the Control Decks and Prism. So I know everyone might not have options available to these cards, so here are my budget alternatives. For Skullboy and Crosstrap, it's not really needed as much, but I do replace it with Talismanic Lens just because it kind of does the same thing. It opts, and then you, on your big turn, you want to go off, you lens, and you opt to find an arrow. For Vindal Spring Tunic, I either run Vest or the First Vest or Blood Drop Brocade just because I want, I, I'm resource based, I want resources to extend my turns, and then these two are the best options. For Lion Strike, I run Seek Horizon. It does the same thing, but it puts it on top of your deck instead of the bottom. So the ability to go Seek Horizon will go again, and then as and then you can go Azalea, hit the, put the arrow that you just put on top into your, into your arsenal with Dominate, it's very strong. And for Art of War, you can replace this with a generic pump, such as Captain's Call, Come to fight and um, Warmonger's recital just because these utilize the same things. They're big pumps, and yeah. That is my Azalea deck. I hope everyone enjoyed the stick profile and give the stick a shot if you are a Azalea fan. Thank you for watching.